Hello everyone, I'm Katrina and I am back with another video. It has been a little while, it's been a few weeks since I've posted a video. I did film a couple of things, I half participated in a couple of readathons that I started vlogging and then just fell off the bandwagon with the actual readathon and with the vlogging so nothing got posted but I am back today with a bit of announcement you guys may already know since it has already been officially announced but I am going to be one of the co-hosts for round five of the Tome Topple readathon. If you've never heard of the Tome Topple readathon before it is a two week long readathon that is all about reading big books. These are books that are over 500 pages. This round of the readathon will begin at the strike of midnight on November 17th and finished at 11:59 p.m. on November 30th all in your time zone. Alongside myself the other co-hosts for round five include of course the creator of the readathon Sam from Thoughts on Tomes as well as Adriana from Perpetual Pages, Sarah Jane from The Book Life, Sean from Reader's Rambles, Ish from Reading Realm and Joss from Squibbles Reads. Be sure to also follow the official Tome Topple Twitter account which is at tome underscore topple. This is where you can find out all of the information about the readathon, any updates that we have, as well as the place that we will be hosting reading sprints throughout the entire two week long readathon. The official hashtag is Tome Topple, and we do also use some other hashtags to help you find other readers that are also reading the same books throughout the readathon, and these hashtags are basically hashtag TT and then the title of a book. Generally, it is for the more popular choices, the books that a lot of people seem to be reading, just so it makes it easier to find other people and to talk about the books. Another great way to interact with other participants of the readathon is to join the Goodreads group which I will have linked down below. We do also have a thread on there that has some suggestions of tomes if you are struggling to think of any off the top of your head so you can kind of just take a look through the list to see if anything jumps out at you if you need a bit of inspiration perhaps. This round we do have reading challenges which I'll talk about in just a minute but we also have Instagram challenges again. For the Instagram challenges these are daily prompts uh, for you to post on each day of the readathon and they're not actually going to be announced until close closer to the date of the readathon on Sam's Instagram account thoughts on tomes. It's really casual, really low key, there are no winners or anything, it's just a bit of fun. But like I mentioned, we do have some reading challenges. The reading challenges are to read more than one tome, to read a graphic novel. Now with this one you can include an omnibus or a bind up of several graphic novels. This is an exception for the rule and only applies to graphic novels. When it comes to novels it doesn't count to include, for example, a bind up or a collection of short stories or an anthology, just because the main idea of this is to tackle those large individual books. So for the novel must be 500 pages in itself. For graphic novels you can bind them up together. It's not super common to find graphic novels that are over 500 pages on their own so we do have an exception to the rule here. The next challenge is to read a term that is part of a series. Buddy read a term and if you need help finding another buddy I would definitely recommend taking a look at the Goodreads group and reaching out and seeing if any other people are reading any books that you're hoping to read during the readathon. And the last challenge is to read an adult novel. I'm also going to share with you my TBR pile for the readathon based off of these reading challenges. I'm hoping to read volumes 19 through 21 and 22 through 24 of Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. Now these are graphic novels, they are bind up so it's got three volumes in one and each of them are over 550 pages roughly. I have already read half of this one which is why I'm also including the last set of volumes here and the challenges that these can tick off are obviously to read a graphic novel but also to read a tome that is part of a series. And the the main term that I'm hoping to tackle in this readathon is Morning Star by Pierce Brown. This is book three in the Red Rising trilogy so it could also go towards the challenge to read a tome that is part of a series and it can also go towards the challenge to read an adult tome. If I manage to read more than one I will also tick off the challenge to read more than one tome and I currently don't have any books specified for the buddy read a tome challenge. There is one I do have in mind that I just need to actually talk to the people about because I'm not sure if they're ready to read the book. We shall see how that all turns out and if I do manage to read all of these and I need to pick up another book. I'm not quite sure what other terms I would pick up next. I'm kind of tossing up between Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, The Passage and The Witch Who Came In From The Cold. Those are the books that I'm leaning towards but I might just kind of play it by ear and see what I'm in the mood to read. We shall see. So this is my kind of more definite TBR pile for the moment. And I think that's all that I have for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're excited to participate in the Tome Topple Readathon. And if you are joining in, I would love to hear about what books you're hoping to read 
during those two weeks. So let me know down in the comments. But I will see you guys next time with a new video. Until then, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye!